With NFL free agency right around the corner, Pro Football Network has put together their top seven franchise tag candidates ahead of NFL free agency. I'm Cody Rourke of Pro Football Network. Coming in at number one, we take a look at Green Bay Packers wide receiver Devontae Adams, one of the most prolific playmakers in the entire NFL from the receiving position. He is the Green Bay Packers primary franchise tag candidate here, and he is looking for a long-term deal, probably in excess more than $20 million per year. However, the non-exclusive franchise tag makes sense for the Packers organization to place onto him if they want to work towards building a contract extension. They've already began the process of making room for some cap space coming into the 2022 NFL season, but so much for Devontae Adams' future, I think, depends a lot on Aaron Rodgers, and Aaron Rodgers depends a lot on what the Packers do with Devontae Adams. Coming in at number two, we take a look at Cincinnati Bengals safety Jesse Bates, one of the intricate parts of the Bengals' defense, an interception in Super Bowl 56, a key play takeaway from Matthew Stafford, but also an intricate part of what this Bengals defense does in terms of their operation in the passing game and also against the run. Jesse Bates is one of those guys that comes up and plays aggressive. Now, with the safety market constantly changes, his expected market value in free agency would be around $14.8 million per year. A franchise tag value is around $12.5 million. So, while the Bengals could place the franchise tag on Bates, they could work towards a long-term extension, which could get him around that expected market value. Coming in at number three, we take a look at the New England Patriots top cornerback in J.C. Jackson and if the Patriots wanted to slap on the non-exclusive franchise tag he get paid around $17.5 million in the 2022 NFL season. However, if in fact that the New England Patriots want to come in and allow another team to bid, they could get extensive compensation from another team for J.C. Jackson if, in fact, they place the franchise tag on him and they let him go elsewhere. An interesting development to follow here for the New England Patriots. Coming in at number four, we take a look at New Orleans Saints safety Marcus Williams. He was franchise tagged last year, and he could be an ideal franchise tag candidate here once again. He obviously had a back-to-back -back productive season here for the New Orleans Saints defense on the back end of that secondary here, but the price tag for him being placed with the franchise tag once again because the safety market has changed. It could give him 120% more of his salary going into the 2022 season than he did last year. An interesting development that we will continue to follow here at Pro Football Network. And coming in at number five, we take a look at Tampa Bay Buccaneers cornerback Carlton Davis. Now for the Buccaneers, there's a lot of questions about change for them this offseason, but more importantly, yes, they lose Tom Brady, but you can't lose key members in your secondary, and Carlton Davis is a key member member of the Bucks secondary, especially at the cornerback position in a secondary that has to cover some very talented wide receivers inside that NFC South division year in and year out. A lot of interesting free agency choices coming up for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Will they place the tag on Carlton Davis? Now coming in to number six, we travel to Los Angeles, California for Chargers wide receiver Mike Williams, one of Justin Herbert's favorite superstars to catch the football with. I had a chance to talk with Justin Herbert during Super Bowl week, and he talked a lot about Mike Williams, how excited he is to see him continue to grow here. He could be a franchise tag candidate here. And one thing to keep in mind for anybody on the franchise tag, it allows organizations to negotiate a potential long-term deal. Now for Mike Williams, I think the question is consistency. He's one of the NFL's best 50-50 jump ball targets in the National Football League. And he and Justin Herbert have an elite connection with one another. If you want to keep Justin Herbert happy, folks, guess what? You got to bring back one of his top wide receivers. I think the Chargers will do everything they can to place the tag on Mike Williams. And lastly, coming in at number seven, we take a look at Kansas City Chiefs offensive tackle Orlando Brown Jr. There's a lot of discussion about Tyra Matthew, Orlando Brown. Who do they franchise tag here? Well, for the Kansas City Chiefs, it's more ideal that they franchise tag Orlando Brown Jr. because they gave up so much draft capital just last year to acquire him. And he played over 93% of the snaps on the offensive side of the ball for them going into the 2021 season. Now, you want to preserve that, especially after the Chiefs made those wholesale changes on the offensive line. Orlando Brown was a key acquisition to help bolster it for the future. They're looking to lock him up to a long-term deal in the five-year range. More than likely, his expected market value is going to be significant. We're talking radio station dial numbers here for Orlando Brown. However, don't be surprised if he gets tagged with the franchise tag and the organization works to come to terms on a long-term deal with the left tackle. This is Pro Football Network's top seven franchise tag candidates going to the 2022 NFL season.